off a car engine out of the sky on your Really? Are oh, you talking about with tarpon? Yeah, like they're like 100 pounders, 150 pounders on the beach, like, and you rip a popper across and it looks, they, they eat it just like a bass where they'll like skyrocket it and go wow. underneath it. All right. Oh, you're talking about during the mullet run? Yeah. Oh, I've heard a lot about the mullet run. It's a nice pool. I think I said that last night. No, I don't think it's that bad. Looks pretty good. What's going on, guys? Today, as you just saw, we're just making it to the, I don't want to call this a boat ramp, more like a dock. But I saw this. There's some really random stuff that floats. I think that's an Afro pick made its way. I got all the little junk in here. Hey, you got an Afro pick over there. I'm not going to pick it up, but... Today, we're going after the elusive snook. And apparently some tarpon. Um, I've never caught either one of them still. Still, to this day. But, it's going to be a good day. This morning we woke up, I was going to go topwater fishing uh, in the early hours. But I woke up with a, it is like an insane migraine. You had the jitis. So we, I had the jitis this morning. So I said, you know what, we're going to wait until I don't feel like... Uh, really horrible. There's no one wants to go sit on. Oh, there's there's some, there's a mullet. I feel like I feel like. A, oh yeah, and parrot comes in today. Parrot comes in at like eight or something. So you guys will get to see. Buddy. You guys get to see the little buddy tonight. So, snook. Today is the day we are catching that elusive, that elusive little bastard. Okay, we're gonna start the day off throwing a cuda tube for about 10 to 20 minutes. The water's clear enough to rip this cuda tube. See if we can get linked in with one of these toothy, toothy beasts. Oh! Did you see that? Jeez! They're here, dude. Oh, God! That is why I'm fishing for kudas. I really hope you guys saw that. That was amazing. God, I love it. Come on, hit it again. No, he didn't. He completely missed. All right, we gave that kudas a one shot. It was kind of a, <clears throat> it was like on a one shot deal. The water was kind of a little bit dingy and, and too dirty. Uh, we'll be able to do it again tomorrow. That's why I'm staying a couple days here for inshore fishing, so I'm able to target these fish because they're only munching during certain times of the day. But right now we're gonna go back to flipping docks. We're gonna go after some bigger jacks and some snook. That elusive fish is gonna be caught today, I promise you. Actually, I'm not gonna make that promise, but I'm gonna try to. We're back with this guy, by the way. Flipping docks in South Florida for snook. He said something come up and miss it, by the way. Yep. Check. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> I saw it miss it the first time. I uh, feel it. <laughs> well, first fish of the day is another tiny jack. Not what we're looking for. Not at all what we're looking for. Old grunter. Where are you at, snook? Oh, I just had one hit it. God, did you see that? He got it, he got it. That was cool to watch. He missed it the first time. First fish for me for the day. You guys see it the first time? He missed it the first time. I thought he might have had it, set the hook, and then he came back and drilled it the second time. Still, still, still looking for that uh, snook. Where you at? Where you at, snook? Catch him a lot back in here. Yes. Let me get the net. Yes, I caught the elusive fish. Ooh, it's a good one. It's, it's oh! <laughs> oh! God! Dang it! Yep, that sucks. Okay. That he did. Oh my God! Look at the leader on this thing. It is destroyed. Oh! Uh, Twenty-eight inches. No! All right. Let's get back at it. Can't really do much about that. Oh, it's from they their they mouth? Oh, that's what it's from. I didn't realize their mouth was that sharp. I mean, look at this. They have teeth just like a bass, but it's 
was like just really abrasive i mean god dang it that sucks that was a good sized fish wasn't it yeah the medium, medium. that's a medium sized snook all right we're still on the hunt for that damn fish god that sucks well that's disheartening i know you guys just saw <clears throat> that i didn't realize how sharp their their teeth were he shredded. What, what profound line is that? 20 or 30? 25, 25 they pounds. They have a mouth like a bass, but it's just super just abrasive. Just su super abrasive. Well, there you go. So the reason why we're not using, I don't like using live bait. I really don't like it. I don't like using even cut bait or anything. I hate using, I just like using artificials. It's more fun. It makes it more fair for the fish and it's more difficult for the angler. But that sucks. We've been trying to find one of these fish and that was about a five or six pound snook, so. It's all, go it's all good. We got like, uh, let's pull an Andrew Flair here. I don't have a watch on. What time is it? Yeah. Three. We got about three hours left of fishing. We're going we're gonna to hook into another one. Oh, man. I'm still just, you know when you guys, you guys remember this clip right here? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Yeah, I'm not going to freak out like that, but I feel like that's how my initial reaction was. See that fish right there? You see him? Right. He's actually, he just, yeah, look at that. Look, oh, look, at, him. look at him. That, that was a freaking You see that? Up, dude. Oh, that was a jack? Okay, yeah. I was like, no. I, swing at mine. I didn't see that. Oh, you Oh, you got two of them. You got two of them? <laughs> <laughs> you got them both hooked up? I'm doubled up. Can we do a double boat flip? <laughs> oh. oh. One's on the loose. It's funny, you see, they both try to eat it at the same exact time. All right, well, a double up on jack. That's uh, always funny. Right, on a good note, at least we're starting. To, fish are actually starting to eat now. All right, there's our uh, little double. There we go. I mean, I mean, I didn't catch any of those. <laughs> All right, there's my solo double. There's there. your solo double for you. Gosh dang, that that snook is still just haunting me. I know you guys. Also, I didn't just put in, but a, a one that was even bigger just came and missed my bait at the boat. It's one of those kind of days. One of it's that bad, that hopefully that's not the title of this video. One of those kind of days. If it is, you guys know what's about to happen for the rest of the day. We're back at the infamous dock. I lost that snook. I'm still in disbelief. I was just talking to him about this. I cannot believe that snook's mouth are so abrasive that they just shredded 25 pound liter. And he thinks that 25 pound fluoro is light. <laughs> to us bass anglers, 25 pound is like something we're using to flip cypress trees with jigs. Like that is, that's heavy line. That's heavy, heavy, heavy line. So I, I, that's why I'm still in kind of disbelief that their mouth is that that abrasive. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, we're about to go flip top water uh, for the next two hours or so. Next hour, I guess, we have sunlight left. And that's, that's oh, is it? No, no, I don't want them to take them. It's your fish. <laughs> I'm not like yeah, that. Like foul. Look at that. Yeah, see the snook I had was, could have eaten that yeah, snook. Yeah, the snook you had could have definitely munched on that guy right there. Ah, oh, dang. Well, as we're talking, he got himself a snook. This is that same dock though. All right, little, <sighs> little, little line side. I want to at least touch them. They're pretty fish. Need my own. Need my own. What is that? Dude, that was a freaking tarpon. <laughs> oh, you broke off. Yes. <laughs> oh. Did you see how big that fish yeah, was? Nah. That sucks. At least I'm not the only one <laughs> having some unfortunate day. Instantaneously frayed. Well, you're just casting down the center of this thing too. I was. I. Oh, the luck. The luck that's happening to both of us right now. Well. It is top water time. I'm not going to give in to the temptation to go buy some live minnows. It will not happen. We will stick to artificials. That's it. Oh! Dude, keep going, keep working, keep working. Keep oh my god. It's a oh my god. Oh my god. Keep working, keep working. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. Still under it, still under it. Just stop. Do I stop it? Yeah, go. Keep going, keep going. Speed up, speed up real quick, real quick. Let it sit. <laughs> no way! That was huge. Oh, my heart was racing. Oh my god! He's 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 down left. There's multiple of them. Dude, my heart was racing. All I could saw was a tail wake. Jeez, it was so intense. God, that was intense. That wake you up a little bit. Yeah, that woke me up. That's like that was like in a shot of adrenaline, like quick. So all you could see was just the. A foot tall wake. You're just swimming right behind it. And you're like, oh my god, please do it. And he misses it twice. Dang it. did swing at it one time and he heard that. Oh. Hey, you know, we're going to come hit me. Oh, this. Oh, oh, 
Oh, I got him! Get on! Good job, Rob. Good job. Run to the back of the way. He's going back. Oh my god. Oh, we're not losing this one, dude. Dude, you got the net ready? Yeah, I got the net ready. I'm just trying to get this rod out of your way. He's coming to the front of the boat now. He's not the huge one. No. It's not the big giant one we saw. Yes! Finally! First snook, dude. Thank right there. you. Not the big one. Probably 32. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, and it just came out. Look how easy it just came out. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. You're letting this one go. Is <sighs> that? Do you want to get your big camera out? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. We've been waiting all day for this. Fine. This is the one that we had earlier. This is, what did you say, a 32 inch, you think? Yeah, it's probably 20, 29 to 32. 29 to 32 inch, probably solid. Just, it's amazing. All right, let's, let's release this bad boy. This is so awesome. Oh, so beautiful. There he goes. If you guys haven't already, go look below. Go fall Lawson Lindsay. <laughs> I wouldn't be out here throwing artificials because there's not a lot of people that like to go fishing for snook in South Florida with artificials. And he's one of the guys that does it. That's why I'm down here with him. That was amazing. That was just, oh, it, the, felt, the eat on that. it felt so good. You, you guys have no clue. I mean, it was probably eight pounds. What do you think, eight pounds? Eight to 10. Eight to 10 pounds. And holy crap, the comparison of fight there is, well, we're also using light tackle as you guys can tell, but man, that was awesome. That was amazing. Perrick is on a flight right now, and I can't wait till he lands just to tell him that we just looked up, linked up with a freaking giant snook. Or, I mean, that's a giant snook to me. That's, on, that's a, a great size. That's a great size snook. Either way, that was amazing. Moving? Yeah, we're gonna make a big run. We're making a big run, apparently. Put this up. This is our last stop? Yeah. This is our last stop. We're gonna go beat some more uh, spooks off some walls. Guess I should probably put this down for you, huh? Oh, geez. oh, I got it. Don't worry. I, no, maybe I don't got it. Up and then down. <laughs> I got this. I got this. There we go. Got it. There. All right. I took a genius to figure out. All right. Well. <laughs> Isn't the quality difference like crazy between this camera and the GoPro at this time of night because I just turned off the GoPro probably five or ten minutes ago and I'm pretty sure it would, does it look pretty good it's crazy right yes, yeah I mean, insane quality on this camera we're gonna be docking up the boat and then we're gonna go pick up Perrick Perrick's landing here in a couple hours pretty excited we kind of have a little bit of pocket like again today we only fish for I would say a solid three or four hours of fishing is what we did well, let me grab this this line real quick so like I said, we were fishing for like three, three or four hours today. I'm very pleased with today because I was trying to go after my big thing was catching that snook. And I finally, finally caught that good old fashioned snook, as Perrick would say. Um, I don't, did Perrick, has Perrick ever caught one or no? He has never caught one? Yeah, so tomorrow morning we're going to go back to that same spot where we saw those, those giants. There was probably two or three, like, like one of them was an apps, like when he says big, I don't even, I don't know how to explain just watching the wake behind my bait. Over, I think, over 25. Over 25 pounds. He says easy over 25 pounds. You know how like, just that feeling of like, just the adrenaline. It was like, oh, come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. That's the only thing I can think of, so. All right, let's hop off here. I'm stop rambling. I'm gonna go pick up Perk. Damn it. Oh. Need a key. I'm having a hard time. It is time. It is time to go get Perrick. The Lettuce King himself. Lost it with me. What kind of food do you want, dude? I don't know. What, uh, I'm hungry. Do you I am want actually. Burgers? Do you want... I don't know. It's a tough one. Eating. Uh -huh. Hey guys. Thanks for watching today's episode. We caught a lot of fish, had a lot of laughs and enjoyed some time on the water. Remember to stop fishing, always stop.